what's up YouTube, this is a checkboard production, and uh, as you've seen by the title, it is uh, my, my tech technology predictions for 2008, not my New Year's resolution and everything, and you know, not my uh, 2008 plans, but technology predictions, my predictions, my personal predictions, you don't have to believe them, or you know, they're, they're not, you know, 100%, they're just my predictions, they're not even like, you know, 50%, you know, more prediction wise, and uh, what I think, don't get angry at me, they're just my predictions, anyway. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, main, some main brands out there and some, you know, technology, the things of the year, for, things of the year of 08 for technology. Anyway, I'm going to start off with Apple. For 2008, I really think Apple is going to have an update year, more updates for their OS. is not really release a lot of OS like they did this year. 07 was a great year for Apple, great starting point, got, got a lot of popularity. I think they're going to work on pertaining to get more of the market share and, uh, you know, get more popular, get the word out of Apple out there. And you know, not really come up with new Macs. If they actually, like, they will, but nothing high end like the Mac Pro more portability, as like the Mac tablet will be released. You know, ultra portable MacBook Pro or MacBook, whatever they decide on. And a lot. It's gonna be a good year for portability for the Mac. More handheld items are probably like the iPhone. And they talked about other stuff. You know, I saw in a Mac World magazine or Mac Life, uh, they were talking about the Squidget. You know, it was a little cool. Uh, thing, but you know, more handheld devices. Like iPhone was a huge hit, and I think Apple's going to work onto that, as well as a uh, boost on some stuff that wasn't, you know, that popular for 07 and 07. Like Apple TV, work on that, as they're upgrading a lot of stuff for that, and you know, just upgrades for your old uh, products to make them more, you know, better, and uh, probably more releases of retail Apple stores around the world, around the world, not just U.S. More, you know, in Japan and Asia. You know, everywhere, pretty much more, uh, more shipment of Apple products around, so they can get more, you know, market share, etc. And uh, basically, upgrade the OS of Leopard and Tiger. Based on that, they're probably gonna get, you know, with Leopard 10.5.2, they'll really, they'll probably release a new version. A lot of secured, you know, with the new, uh, with new viruses, probably coming in 08, there'll probably be more security updates as well as uh, a lot more software. I think Apple's gonna release a lot of, you know. They pretty much got the video editing software done. They have that, you know, top notch with a uh, Shake, uh, Final Cut Pro, and all that stuff, you know. So I think they're gonna, you know, work on more either more editing tools as well as as, uh, as well as uh, other, you know, f applications for like website designing. And they, oh, well, they already have that, but you know, work on stuff like that. And uh, uh, they already got pretty much the video and you know all things done. Work on their gaming uh, for the Mac users. You know, they already have that, uh, they already have the really, they talked about the, what is it, the OpenGL for uh, the uh, gaming. It ran a while better than it did on a Windows machine. Probably release more, you know, OpenGL updates for the gamers, etc. And uh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, it's going to be a great year for Apple for 2008. Probably better than 07. One of their best years would probably, I think, be in 08. Uh, Microsoft. I think basically Microsoft's target for 08 will be upgrading Vista and you know really just adding on to Vista or oh, the Surface Pack 1 and probably Surface Pack 2 and probably some beta or some uh, you know some talk about uh, Windows yeah what their next OS will be and uh, you know pretty much base it on Vista get more hype for Vista do a lot of updates for Vista make it and get uh, update ex uh, actually update uh, XP a lot with SP3, probably lose its uh, Microsoft support after that, but, you know, probably get a lot of frequent updates to make it more like Vista-like uh, on SP3, and really just update with the service packs is mainly what they're targeting for. Uh, updates for YouTube uh, in 08, I think 08 for YouTube, it's, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, YouTube's great, I'm not bashing it or anything, but, you know, probably they'll just add on more features and, uh, you know, update a lot of features like that weren't so popular, like the remix, vi remix and stuff. Add more uh, key and features for the video users as well as uh, people who post frequently, and add you know a lot of new features. Basically, it's features and uh, design. They're probably gonna revamp the homepage, etc. And the whole design layout's gonna probably be changed. Ustream, where you can uh, stream live. They're probably gonna have a lot of updates there for you know chat boxes and a lot of extra programs that they can get on to your, uh, streaming live as well as to customize your stream, you know, just a lot of customization and option uh, options to customize your page, your stream, as well as add some key and features for a uh, better, you know, audio, uh, better, better streams as well as updated chat room, 
fixes and a lot of patches out there. Uh, um, Dell, Dell's a big brand, probably one of the you know big huge brand out there, and I think they're gonna probably Michael Dell really wanted to switch to running Mac uh, Mac uh, OS on his thing, and I think they're really gonna work. He's gonna really work on that with Steve Jobs this year. You know, if, and that's not closed deal. Nobody's talked about it. And there's really no news. I, all they know is M Michael Dell wants to run a uh, Mac if it if Jobs opens it to other users. And I really think that Dell's probably going to work on new models of monitors and a whole new end of, you know, computers because they got the game with the XPS and, you know, really work on laptops because they're, that's not their highest point, you know, but now they're really working on great laptops as well as other products. No way it will just be a greater year for them. Uh, Intel. Intel probably just to work on uh, getting, you know, more Intel Intel uh, machines out there running Penryn. And you know, probably come out with a new uh, processor out there. You know, just pretty much work on Penryn probably, and compare it to the their others. But uh, probably get Penryn running in, uh, natively in other machines, uh, new machines out there, as well as old machines, and make it the standard. And AMD, they're gonna work on getting their Phenom the standard of computers, basically the same as Dell, Intel, but uh, pr basically work on the Phenom processor and get it. Uh, running, try and get their product running natively in other computers. And uh, before I run out of time here, uh, this is basic technology talk. Uh, I think for 2008, I think uh, wireless, it'll be the year of wireless. Now they said, I know they said this for 2007, but uh, you know, 2007 was a year of wireless, but in 08 they're going to take it to a whole new level, you know, with Bluetooth and probably some other devices. They're getting USB smaller and smaller by the minute. Logitech made a U. Uh, Logitech made a VX Nano mouse that's like this small, the USB. So probably work on portability and wireless. And portability will be a great thing with UMPCs. Uh, and you know, desktops will just be handheld, easy to take around, as well as more smaller laptops out there. And make portability pretty much a standard in the business world, as well as wireless uh, products all over technology. We're going to see a lot of cords, you know, get taken off because of wireless. Uh, you know, there's wireless headphones and everything now. Accessories are going to become wireless and that'll be the standard for technology. Gaming, there's going to be a lot of new great games out there. You know, with the release of a lot of cool games this year. The or Orange Box, which included Half-Life 2, Portal, and, you know, there's, there was also Tabula Rasa, was a great game. Uh, you know, really in Crisis and pro probably just getting those other, getting those games out there popular and as well as, you know, releasing a whole new end of uh, games and getting them you know, probably uh, making more, much, much more popular games of 08. I think 08 is going to be a great year for gamers as well. Uh, probably a best-selling year for a lot of games, Gears of War and all that stuff. So gaming will be a great year for 2008. And a whole new era of technology in 2008. You know, we're gonna, they're probably going to release, you know, the desktop won't be really become the standard. They're probably going to minimize the size of desktops nowadays and get uh, portability laptops and downsize everything, not in a bad way, meaning make everything smaller and less cord management, etc. You know, release new standards like, a, what is it, DV, is it DVI or is it HDMI? And I think it's HDMI, but I think they're, you know, probably going to go digital and, you know, make it uh, DVI ports. I think, if I, I'm saying that wrong, sorry about that, but, you know, probably get DVI for monitors to run, you know. The world's just going to go digital, really, you know. And it's going to be a great year for technology. I'm looking forward to 2008, and uh, a lot of new uh, cool gadgets and gizmos will be released, of course. And, you know, it's going to be a whole new era. And, you know, we're going to get USBs are, you know, really compact. They're going to get a whole new bunch of ports, etc. Upgrade, you know, a lot of stuff for USB, and, you know, it's just going to be a great year for the OSs and everything in the technology world. So. Uh, those are my predictions for 2008 for technology. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.